This is the Atomium, and it's quite possibly the coolest building in the world. Now I know that's a kind of bold and sweeping statement that's likely to stir up a lot of opinions, so let me explain why. First of all, the building takes the shape of an iron crystal, magnified 165 billion times, and consists of 9 spheres or atoms, each 18 meters in diameter. The spheres are connected by a series of tubes, which each contain a staircase or escalator. It was built for the 1958 World Expo and only intended to be here for six months. World fairs or World Expos were these several month long grand exhibitions, intended to display and celebrate the achievements of nations. The host country would usually build an elaborate and innovative structure as the event centerpiece, such as Paris's Eiffel Tower, Seattle's Space Needle, and even the world's first Ferris wheel in Chicago. And just like the Eiffel Tower, by the time the fair ended, the Atomium had become so iconic and beloved that its dismantling was delayed again and again, until they decided to keep it for good. And so over 60 years later, here it stands, a colossal monument to retrofuturism and post-war optimism. Wow, look at the people cleaning it. That looks so fun. Once inside, a lift takes you 100 meters straight up to the highest sphere. And I felt like I was boarding a spaceship, or rather being abducted by one, ascending a green beam of light to meet our new Martian overlords. Instead, I was pleasantly greeted by a zero euro machine and a rather lovely view. You could see from Brussels city centre right out across Belgium, and there was even this cool roundabout with flower beds shaped like the Atomium. It really did feel like being inside a spaceship, and it was slightly surreal to look down at the white tubes connecting us to the other spheres, like modules of the International Space Station. And the neighbouring Mini Europe model attraction only added to this, creating the illusion that we were much higher up than we in fact were. From there, it was back down the lift to the ground level sphere, home to a permanent exhibition about the World Fair and history of the Atomium. And then it was up the single coolest escalator I have ever been on. There's this really cool optical illusion where I can't tell if I'm going up or down the escalator. Now I know I keep going back to this spaceship analogy, but the view out of these small porthole windows was out of this world, offering fleeting glimpses of the other spheres juxtaposed against the blue sky and white clouds. I don't think I've ever before been disappointed to leave an escalator. This next ball housed a temporary art exhibition, which I admittedly didn't find all that interesting, before we continued upwards to the very middle sphere. Once again, there was an exhibition about the landmark's history, as well as another Zero Euro machine with a different design. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, then you'll know how much of a massive banknote nerd I am, so I was beyond delighted by this. What's particularly cool about this sphere is that you can see up the forbidden staircases to the three not open to the public. Officially, it's because these are the only three not directly supported, either by a pillar or the central column. But well, all I'm saying is that if I was a supervillain, that's where I'd want my lair. There's also this closed off lower sphere, which is home to what I imagine is a very impressive meeting room. But they undoubtedly saved the best till last. You know how I said that previous escalator was the coolest I'd ever been on? Well, that was a very short-lived title. Yup, I think I have another new favourite escalator. And if you're still not convinced that this is the world's coolest building, wait until you see it at night. So this evening we've come to a different metro station and we've just realised that the entire morning we were filming the back of the Atomium. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, and whatever the angle, it looks stunning. From the back, you get this classic view of seven of the nine spheres, but from the front, you get this perfect shot into the cube they form. And even if it isn't objectively the coolest building in the world, however you'd measure that, it most certainly is my favourite. Before I go entirely, I just want to show you this package Dirk sent from Germany, which I missed from the final PO Box video. He included a super cool treasure map inside a bottle that I was instructed to smash, and after I followed a series of clues, I found a treasure chest at the end, with a ton of cool coins inside. I've left it blank in case you want to try it yourself. This is ingenious, and one of the most creative things I've ever received. Thanks so much Dirk, I really really love it. 